Across the region, two days of sweltering heat have been hard on many of us, but especially hard on local firefighters. The dangers they face in extreme temperatures became crystal clear in one community. And as 13 News reporter Hannah Getz learned, we she found out why. Hannah. Well, Jennifer, what we saw is that it all comes down to teamwork, essentially, and making sure that you're keeping an eye on the guy next to you. Exhausting. Uh, it's very exhausting, and unfortunately, as a firefighter, you're operating entirely on adrenaline when you first get there. So you don't realize that exhaustion level until you stop. With recent temperatures making it difficult to just walk down the road, you can only imagine what it feels like carrying nearly 100 pounds of gear and battling flames. We go, go, go. And, and we don't realize that we are dehydrated. We're, we're totally physically exhausted. That is exactly what happened Monday evening as volunteer firefighters from Jefferson, Westside, and Lakewood, among others, worked to knock down flames on Green Valley Drive in Jefferson. Yeah, sometimes it's our second fire, and as uh, you know, it's, been, it's, it's a hot day, and it's been, both of them have been tough fires, and the heat's taking its toll. Kanawha County EMTs had to treat multiple firefighters on scene with fluid IVs, despite the station's best efforts to prepare for the situation. Well, the chief here from Jefferson took a strategy right off that he was going to give them, uh, he called lots of extra help in, that way he could relieve his crews that's working really hard. And nobody has to stay in it for a long period of time. So I applaud the effort to take care of the folks. I'm just so glad that they're all okay. You know, Hannah, we often think about the danger being inside the buildings. When firefighters go to fight those fires, but we don't often think about the fact days like today and yesterday, they could be in danger before they even get there. Something as simple as heat. And one of the things that they can do to prepare an easy thing is Sigmund said, drink lots of water and mm -hmm. stay hydrated. He says he keeps Gatorade in his trucks at all times. And then also just to stay physically fit. Well, we certainly thank them for their service. Thank you, Hannah. Meanwhile, 